Take a guess who's going to win this tip. <laughs> well, you were right, but Purdue threw it away. Quick turnover there. Threw that basketball straight out of bounds. Braden Smith, who couldn't find a receiver. And Nebraska not turning teams over nearly as much this season, but they turned Indiana over 19 times. Braden Smith has had some issues with turnovers the last five games. Purdue going to have to tighten it up, and what a start for Rick Mast. Rick Mast lines one up. He shot it at a 35% clip the last three games, and that's going to take Zach Eady away from the rim and could be a tough matchup for the big fella. Mast, the grad transfer from Bradley in Illinois. Two-time all-conference player there. Now Purdue on the offensive end of the court. Drop it down inside, now back outside. Lawyer dishes. Three ball the other way, won't go. Rebound to Williams. Now Williams wants to run with it. Contact there, an offensive call. And the home crowd does not like it. Bryce Williams putting some pressure on the defense in transition. It's a tough call for Nebraska early in the game. Braden Smith with it, now over to Lawyer. Back to Lawyer. Had an opportunity to get into the lane. Nice take. They able to draw the foul on his way there. Fletcher, Fletcher Lawyer really, really hurt Nebraska. The call goes against Jamarcus Lawrence. What's been mo most impressive about Purdue starting this year through your eyes? Well, I, I think Zach Eady has played like the National Player of the Year once again, but the most impressive thing to me is that the, the guys around him have stepped up to, to make plays. In Illinois is a, is a great example. He only scores 10 points, does have 15 rebounds, but you've got other guys that can step up and hurt you in a variety of ways. Lance Jones and Trey Kaufman-Wren are two examples of, of those two that stepped up. Now on the offensive end of the court, calling for the basketball is Max. Max for three-point land. Down inside the paint, showing you what he could do. Showing off the range and now going right at Zach Eady. He can score with either hand. He can play five out. Rank Mast, a very talented, skilled five man. And the Kaufman Wren, one more pass shot won't go. Now Kaufman Wren battling for the board and able to secure that possession right back for Purdue. Inside to Eady. Eady, great passer, kicking it back outside of these terrific shooters. This is a helter-skelter possession. You can see just how active Nebraska's hands are defensively. And what an effort by Jawan Gary to get that timeout. Jawan Gary with it over to Mast. Now Mast to Lawrence. And right back inside to Mast. Double team comes and he's looking to pass. It's pretty good by Purdue the there. A little, little post trap and then you see that rotation. To the paint, Mass good start offensively, and now an air ball to go along with what was a good start. Three ball and a nice two on the inside. Zach Eady just doing his thing, standing him up and getting a fingertip on that jumper there from Mast. Lawyer inside, Eady well short with that one. You hear the crowd loving it. You have to push Zach Eady off the block. Just to make him catch that thing far out there. That gives yourself just such a better chance of of having a successful post trap or even, in that case, one-on-one -on -one defense with Rick Mast. Now Smith swings it around, back inside to Edie. Double team is there. Smith is wide open. Edie finds him, shot won't go. Rebound to Edie, and he step on the line. He said, I'm pushed. Ref disagrees, that he stepped right there on the white line possession to the Huskers. Williams inside the match. That has been the favorite philosophy offensively to get this game going for Nebraska. Well, that's on Zach Eady right there. Post traps coming from the middle of the floor. His responsibility is the baseline side. And Rank Mast, little spin move, gets to the other side of the rim. Smith back to Jones. Lawyer thought about a three. Now with one dribble, pull up, won't go, and rebound to Nebraska. Toby Naga with it. Up ahead to Gary. Can't get the shot to go, put back, and he was fouled. Call goes against Trey Kaufman Wren. So just want Gary to the line. The coach was very clear about the message that he was giving Gary. He said, we're used to you being that dog on the boards. Get in there and fight for some rebounds. Send him that text and wanted to challenge him again to get those numbers up in the rebound department. Well, you're talking about a guy that's six in the Big Ten Conference in offensive rebounds per game. I mentioned the 18 rebound effort against Kansas State. Just having no rebounds is 
is not acceptable regardless of foul trouble. And he's really battled fouls. He's got eight fouls in the last two games, but he's going to be that guy that gives Max effort. Sure, he's going to score some too, but they need him in playing his role at the highest level. 6 0 Nebraska run. Lawyer, three ball open. Nice movement offensively. Shot will go. And possession back to Nebraska. So far, Purdue just ice cold from three. Getting some good looks off the post double, but unable to capitalize. So Minaga. There's just a lot of nice pieces with this Nebraska group and the start they've gotten off to. Purdue 0 for 6 from the field early. Far fall there. No call goes with it as Mason Gillis checks in for Purdue, and Purdue offensively continues to struggle. You're right, Fletcher Lawyer went down in a big way. And, and we got and some Painter, blood here. And Painter wants to talk about it. The face of Mast looks like his nose is bloodied. You see him blinking with his eyes watering as well. CJ Wiltshire take it out for Nebraska. He has been shooting the basketball lights out of late. Back to his sophomore year level. You know, last year, a little bit of a regression as a shooter, but he has been fantastic this season. Tough shot here, won't go. It's Bryce Williams off the mark. Braden Smith with it. Edie calling for the basketball. Double team there on. Him. He's got Lillard's got to shoot the ball. He's wide open. Purdue just having a hard time hanging on to it right now. Now Williams trying to get it down inside. Basketball is loose and then secured by Nebraska before they gave it away. Trying to go cross court and Fletcher Lawyer there for the interception. Thought about a three instead drops it into Edie and a call on that spot is going to go against Josiah Alec. So Purdue will be well served to throw it in from right there. There's Smith trying a three and that is right on the money. Cam Heidi takes a seat. Cam Heidi into the game, excuse me, and Lawyer will take a seat for Purdue. Nice decision there by Ethan Morton. Nebraska showing so much respect to Edie and Braden Smith all by himself. Now Williams with it. Gets the basketball back from Gary. Williams, tough three, won't go. Easy rebound for Purdue. Back to back. Tough shots for Bryce Williams. That ball's got to move. It's just him trying to make some isolation plays. Gillis wants a three. Beautiful shot. We got to find him. Mason Gillis now seven of his last 12 from three. Nebraska falling asleep on some of these shooters. And this Purdue offense waking up. And now Nebraska has caught a case of the turnovers themselves. He plays with a real level of toughness. And he was really good in that Illinois win as well. Eight and eight. And five offensive rebounds. Mast checks back into the game after getting some medical attention. Inside the Edie, that is Mast on him defensively. He's able to come down with the rebound. Like Edie almost double clutched on that shot. I think he's just going to turn, go right up, and, and score the ball. Nebraska once again showing multiple defenders at the reigning national player of the year. Back to Alec. Now Mast with the Edie on the back. Smooth finish by Wilton. That's a great cut by C.J. Wilcher. Just coming right over the top, rubs his man off on Rink Mast, and Mast with that skill level just drops it off with the bounce pass. Smith thought about a pull-up, and then he will take the shot. It's off the mark. Edie trying to reach over and grab the rebound. Oh, Flat out of bounds to try to get a hand on it is Heidi, and unable to secure that possession. It will go back to Nebraska. To at least contest. But that allows the cut there by Wilcher to get all the way to the basket. The first will check in as Edie takes a rest. Now Wilcher pull up. Was it tipped or was it a foul? They're going to say he got some contact on the way through. Three years ago, had a season high 18 points against South Carolina State back at the end of December. Second. 12 8 Nebraska lead. 
Now Smith scans and flips it to the corner, open three, and the hot man stays hot at Mason Gillis. That's a high-level pass, though, from Braden Smith. He comes off that ball screen and just rockets that thing on a frozen rope to Gillis. With it, he's going to take it inside. He's looking for Lawrence on the roll. It's tipped up in the air. Now Lawrence able to secure it. With Mask, you've got to be aware. He loves to fake the dribble handoff and then just take it to the rim. Pass inside to Alec. Back out to Mask, who has a wide open three, and that time rattles it out. Here's Gillis. Offensively, this is Jones. Now Jones gives it back up. Heidi inside. Gillis, tough shot, won't go. Put back and one for first. Mason Gillis, not known for his back to the basket game, but just getting it up on the rim. The help comes over with the trap. That allows Caleb first to go to work on the offensive glass. Now Purdue with a 14-12 lead. Mass trying to just get rid of the basketball. But we knock it from deep off the mark. Well, Purdue fortunate there. That screen picked the primary defender off, and Purdue just late getting out there to Kase Tominaga. Nice deflection defensively. Now Nebraska on the oh. run and just threw this basketball up into the stands. Tominaga calling for the ball, couldn't get it. Gillis thought about it. Inside to Caleb first, back outside to Gillis, and that three-pointer short off the mark. Putback is there. That's Heidi with the board, the putback. And that's going to be the game for Nebraska. Can you keep Purdue off the offensive glass? And it's not just Zach Eady. First, Heidi, Gillis, all three of those guys on the floor right now are going to go every time a shot goes up. Drops the basketball off, tries to set a screen to set up their offensive star. Toby Naga gives it back up, Mast. Nice left hand finish. He is such a tough guard for any big out on the perimeter. He can put it on the floor, and there just whips Caleb first right off the bounce and gets to his left hand. Jones swinging around. Heidi trying to drive baseline back to Gillis. He's been looking to shoot, and Gillis. Nothing but net. I think one of the questions for this Purdue team is how does the second unit score? And right now, the second unit for Purdue pushing this out to a five point lead. And Matt Painter getting some real contributions. And Mason Gillis continues to stay on fire. Mast is like this matchup. Nice little finish there. Left foot, right hand. Off the glass. A little half hook there from Rick Mast. He's shown off the total package. Inside, shown the three, now going to the hook. He has been fantastic for Nebraska to start this game. Jones to Gillis, pump fake, wide open. Shot won't go, rebound Mast. Finally, Nebraska, they've gotten some stops but haven't been able to close down possessions. They're a defensive board to get them out here and, and play in the open court. Lawrence back to Mast, and that shot won't go. Up ahead on the drive and a foul call. But Mast showing off that touch. The second one is good. Put up season high 23 points against Illinois back on January the 5th. Williams, tough shot, contested three. You already know it's down. Toby Naga fired up. That's a tough action for Purdue to guard. Lance Jones in a real predicament. You got Tommy Naga raising behind the play, a little pick and roll. He's got to be in to stop that big, but then has to get out. And Tommy Naga making him pay for it from that left wing. There's contact. It looks like it's right there with Edie. 
Now Edie calling for the rock. Big fella throws it down. What an inbounds play right there. A little back screen action. Zach Edie just peeling off and Purdue throwing it up top. The easiest look of the night. Now Lawrence. Down inside, taking their time offensively. 10 on the shot clock. Baseline jumper won't go and the board to Edie. But Purdue did that a lot against Illinois, and it's really something that Nebraska's done for the last couple years, where they've just gotten on top of post players and brought that double from the bottom side. Jones over a lawyer. Here we go. A shot off the mark, and you don't see that all the time because he is a good free throw shooter for a big man, 75%. He was over for three, though, against Illinois, so yep. he's missed his last four. Here's Williams. Now look at Mass the, look at sizing the him up. That he's got to just go play, but this round won by Edie with that length and size. Smith back outside the lawyer. Edie calling for the basketball. Fun matchup inside with him and Mast. Now the three ball comes up just short. And battling for the rebound is the and the call goes against Edie, and the crowd is loving it. Something to watch for the next 6.22. Purdue 4 for 11. A deep range so far. Gillis 3 for 5 off the bench behind the three-point arc. Now Mass kicks it back outside. Tominaga. One more pass. And this shot is off the mark from Gary. So far, Purdue's defense has been pretty locked in. They've taken away those rink mask fake DHOs to the rim, and they've done a really nice job on Kase Tominaga off the basketball, just staying right there with him. Lawyer gives it up. Inside to Edie. Edie left it well short. It's the second air ball we've seen from him on a similar looking shot. He's really fading away from the basket on some of these post ups. Sure is. Deep shot is good from the lawyer, though, who's trying to get himself going from deep range. We've talked about it. He's been massive against Nebraska. 24 a game last year in those two. Aspen like it at the deep. He's going to have those opportunities with Edie on the floor. Purdue will be interested to see if he makes a couple more. Does Matt Payne start rotating to him? But Edie's in that drop, so Mast will have looks from three. 25-22, Purdue. And Smith over to Lawyer. Gets it right back. Now Lawyer drives baseline. Pull up, won't go. And the rebound. Back to the Huskers. They can run with it. Tominaga, left hand, short. And the board is battled for the possession will stay. Braden Smith will take a seat. Tominaga trying to make up for it. That's how you do it. That's off the screens, and Ethan Morton is right there with them. Pretty good defense, but just better offense from a guy that's now made eight threes in the last three games. Mast is pumping up the crowd as he comes out to defend Edie. Lawyer to Gillis. He's been hot. Stays hot. And a roll and replace action. Mason Gillis is wide open. Nebraska showing Edie the ultimate respect on those rolls. And there are opportunities for other guys tonight for Purdue to make plays. Tominaga back out for a reset with 12 on the shot clock. And Purdue switched five ways here. We'll see if Bryce Williams can make something of this matchup. Williams gives it up. Juwan Gary into the paint. And Right before he had that knee procedure, 20 against Florida A&M, 19 against Cal State Fullerton, but it's a different deal doing it against the number one team in the country and a guy like Zach Eady. Moving around pretty good after that knee procedure, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. He has come back fast, and certainly his last couple games playing some of his best basketball. A lawyer baseline in the lead through the contact. Call goes against Jawan Gary. And checking in for Nebraska is Sam Hoiberg. 
And talking to Purdue today at shoot around, I, I think these players and the coaching staff understood what kind of dogfight they were going to have on their hands. Last year's game, a big time atmosphere. And this group that Fred Hoiberg's assembled, the snowstorm has certainly diminished the crowd, maybe a little bit. Students still on break, but this place rocks as good as just about anywhere in this league. Hoiberg kicks it, three balls, did not touch the rim. Toby Naga. Toby Naga still firing up the crowd on the defensive end of the court. Now he comes out defensively on lawyer. Shot won't go, rebound. Mast was there. They're going to say possession will stay with Purdue. You just, you've got a lock and trail. You can't go under on any screen that's being set for him. Smith over to lawyer, kick it down. To the corner for a three, and this time possession as Nebraska's way. There's no doubt with the help that Nebraska's showing, they're going to make Purdue prove it from three. 15 of Purdue's 25 field goal attempts have been from the perimeter. They are taking away that paint and making them a jump shooting team. Matt Painter brought Ethan Morton up to bring him into the game. Stacking back down as Tommy Naga says, Take that. With good players, you can't let them get their head up, which Tominaga now has. He is on fire. It's stolen away on the run. Sam Hoiberg to the rim, and Hoiberg does it all. Like he does tonight, he can be electric from anywhere. Smith to Gillis. Gillis now drops it. Down inside, the foul is called there. It was mass defensively. It was that Williams that reached in. We will see. Already are at 15 attempts. So I think that they're going to have to really look at halftime. I'm not saying you're turning down wide open ones, but they, they want to find some opportunities in the painted area. Williams takes a seat, and Jamarcus Lawrence checks in for Nebraska and a foul call again off the ball. That's going to go against Ethan Morton. Mason Gillis and Braden Smith were, were a little bit confused and Ethan Morton late getting to this guy right here. Naga eating up. One more pass. Sam Hoiberg's been making it happen on the defensive end, turns defense and offense with a three ball. That's another breakdown by Purdue. Now you have to run at Tommy Naga and Sam Hoiberg having a great year shooting the ball. 38% from three. Now Gillis thought about it. One more dribble and that shot off the mark. Tommy Naga is battling for the rebound with Hoiberg. Once he crossed half court, Tommy Naga, he is in range and he is hunting shots right now. Sure is. Hoiberg on the drive. Reverse it. <laughs> Sam Hoiberg heating up. Coach's kid knows the game extremely well. The walk on showing that he is earning these minutes. Deep shot for Purdue trying to answer, won't go. Rebound Nebraska trying to throw it all the way down court. Was that touched by Lawyer? Ref says yes. Just 40 this season, but that one counts there. A circus reverse layup with the right hand. Nebraska has made their last seven field goals. 13-0 run there on. Here's Hoiber. CJ Wilcher. Mass going to work. Left hand won't go. Rebound to Purdue. Nice job by Gillis there. Just never gave ground. And made Mass take a tough off balance hook. With 13 seconds of the half. Mass got a hand on it defensively. Great Smith. With a kick. Wide open three. And that is long. You think this crowd's having fun yet? <laughs> I would say. Missed their first six field goals as well. So a uncharacteristic offensive performance at half number one as Mast heads into the paint on Edie this time. A defensive win for Edie. Good job moving his feet and still contesting that shot for Mast. And Purdue got open looks from three, but Nebraska certainly selling out on their paint defense to take away the two. 
This is Mason Gillis. And they will catch it cleanly. Now Smith. Edie heads into the post, and that pass got caught up in the net and unable to get across the defense of Nebraska. I haven't seen a ton of pick and roll there, but Braden Smith leaving his feet, that's when he can get himself in some trouble. He's turned it over too much. A common foul, but the result of the play and the way the rule is written, I can see why the refs upgraded that to a flagrant one. The uh, technical or flagrants. First one off the mark, and so too is the second. With the basketball back in play. Mast wants a three. Off the mark, rebound, Gillis. Edie really playing off him. We saw Wisconsin do that. He ended up two of seven from three in that game on Saturday. Rolling the dice a little bit because he was making shots in the first half. Inside to Edie. They've been sending a lot of defenders his direction and a whistle. They can certainly send a double, but there's going to be some wide open people in, in the vicinity of Edie if you do it. Jones on the drive. Jones, good hard take. And I think Purdue's going to have to see some of that as well. Their guards not just settling for threes, but they're Lance Jones putting it on the floor and getting all the way to the rack. Lance Jones, a transfer from Southern Illinois. Now Lawrence off the mark. Heidi with the board. Lawrence, he's almost been a non-factor tonight. That's his first shot attempt, does have three rebounds, but tough spot for him trying to play that one. This pull-up jumper from Smith. And that just wasn't there for him either. He's been so effective coming off pick and roll to get to his spot and raise up. Purdue's showing some life here and finally finding some two-point field goal attempts. It was last year and this season certainly once again. Nice inbounds play. What a screen. And Gillis gets picked off. You're worried about Casey. It ends up being a three-point play for Jawan Gary at the basket. So it's a 10-point Nebraska lead. Smith to Edie and right back to Smith. Now Edie trying to work the post. And Mast has been all effort defensively down there on. Right. The cylinder rule has gone out the window with, the, with our post trapping. Now, I'm okay with that. It's certainly one of those things where Rink Mast is trying to be physical, but he got away with one there. Gillis thought about a three. One more pass over to Jones, and Jones buries it. Lance Jones playing with so much confidence. Three of the last four games, double figures. A guy that can get hot from the perimeter, but got himself going here in this second half with the layup. His threes are going to be there for Purdue. We'll see if they can knock some of them down here in the second half. And Toby Naga can get going offensively at half number two. Jones lost one up in the air, poked away. Nice defensive play by Bryce Williams. Now Williams, defense to offense, into the paint, he rolls. The turnovers haunting Purdue once again. Bryce Williams, aggressive in transition. That little Euro step getting to the other side of the rim, even with Zach Eady looming. Jones wants a three. He is keeping Purdue in this game. Nice Jones just making things happen, making plays by himself. Now get thought about it over to Mass. Now gets it back. Seven on the shot clock. Toby Naga creating his own shot, left it well Boy, short. I, I thought he got fouled shooting that thing. I thought Mason Gillis hit him on that shooting arm. He did too as he makes his case back down the court. And Braden Smith. Hoiberg over to Williams. Now Williams on Edie. Dribbles all the way through and around. Now kicks it to Mass. The Mass a favorable matchup in his left hand. They got the switch. Cam Heidi much smaller than Zach Eady. And you can see just how comfortable Rank Mast was in that matchup. Nice little dump down and Mast fighting the jump hook. Now this crowd comes back to life. 48-43. Still have the number one team in the country on the ropes. Gillis, baseline, pull up, won't go. Edie somehow grabs that board, gets the easy two. Some long arms, aren't they? <laughs> no doubt about that. 
is Hoiberg. Hoiberg kicks it into the corner, and that corner three is money. Jawan Gary. He hadn't been shooting it all that well. Last three games had not made a three. 0 for 5. Shooting it with way more arc this year and confidently stroking it from the corner. Smith thought about a three. Heidi wants one. Heidi has one. Nebraska is pretty much not guarding Purdue's force here and then just rotating out. Juwan Gary is almost like a secondary all-time defender on Edy. Cam Heidi able to knock one down from the top of the key. A mass with Edy on him. He's liked that three ball during that matchup. Hoiberg. Hoiberg off the mark and the board goes to the boiler makers. Now Smith with it. Back to Heidi. Edy calling for the ball in the paint instead, just going to take it himself and draw the contact on the way there. Purdue has made some of these open threes that Nebraska is willing to give up, and then I do think that Purdue's guards have done a better job in this second half, both Lance Jones and Braden Smith, of driving the basketball, getting into the teeth of that defense, and finishing at the rim. Smith from Westfield, Indiana, terrific sophomore, along with Fletcher Lawyer. Quickly a one-point game. The contact called on the screen. A struggle for Purdue at times in the first half. A rake mast inside, kicks it outside. Corner three, you better believe it, Josiah Allen. What a big bucket for Nebraska. Last two games, he's only scored six points. Shooting 27% from three, 80 playing off. And Alec making a big one from the corner. Edie trying to calm things down. That'll do it. And that post-entry pass is just a rocket right into him. And when he gets to his left shoulder, you know, good luck. He was decisive on that play. He got exactly what he wanted quickly. That's Cam Heidi. He fouled C.J. Wiltshire on that shot. It's two fouls now on Heidi. Send Wiltshire to the line. 88% free throw shooter. 6'5", 214-pound junior who transferred from Xavier two years ago. Jones wants a three, won't go. Now Nebraska and Lawrence on the run. Outside, Alec. Good Alec job by it. Alec of not losing his mind. You made one, but move the ball. And look at what happens for C.J. Wiltshire on the backside. So Wiltshire, who is lining up three throws, this time gets a clean look and knocks it down. Now stolen away defensively. Hoiberg on the run. Hoiberg, easy left-hand finish. That's the second time that we've seen Sam Hoiberg just make a big-time defensive play. He's shooting right to the passing lanes, and it's off to the races. He's been terrific tonight. That defense and offense on display. Nebraska, eight steals. Purdue, just one. Now, Lawyer just trying to get rid of the basketball. Was he able to? He's say possession will stay. Now two for his last 14 dating back to Illinois. Edie was calling for the basketball and had it hit right off his hands and out of bounds and bounced. Alec gives it up. Three ball pure. But CJ Wilcher set a great back screen. That, that opened up to the, the defense. Had to loosen because of the cut. And then he is wide open coming off the handoff. And it's poked away again on the defensive end by a Hoiberg, and then a call is called on Lawrence. And Nebraska, what an answer that they have had to this Purdue second half run. Lawyer wide open, see if he can get himself going. That will help. They had to have it. Good pass out from Zach Eady. They're cracking down on the backside. Lawyer is wide open. The lead is 10. Now Gary tries the backboard, unable to get it to go. Board goes to Edie. Now this is Smith. Drops it off to Jones. Edie somehow able to grab it and stuff. 
That was fortunate there for Purdue. That, that pass tipped. I think that was intended for Trey Kaufman Wren. Ends up in the hands of Edie and gets it right there. Nice pull up. A little short and rims out. Another rebound for Edie. Now Jones. Jones lost the basketball. He was fouled. The crowd doesn't like it, but that, that's the right call. Edie out to set a screen. Calling for the ball in the roll. Jones. That's short. Board goes to Smith. Drops it off to Edie. Edie is fouled on the way there, and he wanted to make that shot, too. He's gotten to that left shoulder, and when he does that, it's, it's normally not good for the defense. Free throw rattles out. Gary back to Williams. Now Wiltshire. Got the matchup inside, but instead Bryce Williams. The read ball says it better. Do it all myself. He said, I got the matchup on the outside. Lead is still at 10. Lawyer floats one. Edie with it. Now the crowd back into it feeling as if they helped. Pass, scanning, reading the defense. Now going to take it into the paint himself. Looking for that right hand. Tough shot. Good defense put on. Now a fight for that rebound and Purdue able to secure it. Great math to put you in the spin cycle right there. Pretty good from Caleb first. Jones into the paint. And then first sealed off the defense there. Lance Jones just finding that seam. Purdue trying to grind away at this lead one more time. This shot off the mark won't go. Rebound being fought for, and they will say possession stays. Only pass. Lawyer takes a seat. Brayden Smith checks in, and that three ball checks in as well. C.J. Wiltshire cannot miss. Wiltshire's pitching a perfect game. Four of four from the field, three of three from three. Hasn't missed a free throw, hasn't committed a turnover. Jones trying to return fire. Off the mark, rebound. Drifts back out to Smith. Now Smith with a tough shot on the baseline. It's off the mark, and the board goes to Max. Coach Hornberg was saying that he has never seen him this confident in his first miss of the night. Mason Gillis picks up his third. Williams trying to come get it, lost his footing, and he will take a timeout wisely. Wilcher. It in, unable to get the finish, but a nice pass by Max. A bad gamble by Braden Smith. Really fortunate that Bryce Williams missed that layup. A Smith falling away. First kicks it back to the corner. And Gillis, a 10 on the shot clock. First out to set a screen. Smith takes his time, tries to go up and under, swing it across the court, and a tough shot is an air ball. It was Mason Gillis behind him. Heidi was at the rim. Seven minutes to play. Look at C.J. Wiltshire. He's just sitting in there. That's a, a bad pass from Lance Jones. Right on line with that pass, and it was well off the mark. Naga, he's been quiet in the second half. Gary, nice cut. Gary, nice finish. Lead is 11. 
Smith inside. Nice dish over to Edie. Nice pass there by Brayden Smith. Torched his man off the bounds. Help came over and he dropped it off to Edie. Toby Naga. That was Edie defending and the shot will not go. He thought he was fouled. And now late down the court. Oh, what a block. To do but swatted away. And Nebraska able to secure it. Lance Jones thought he had a layup and Jawan Gary had other ideas. Just put that thing on the glass. And a foul called on the ball by Lance Jones. Williams drops it to Mast. Mast on Edie has not shied away from that. And this time Edie with another win on the defensive end. This was never on balance there. Smith walking into a three. Rebound still being fought for. Jones secures it to the corner. Three won't go. Edie trying to get the rebound. And a foul called on that board. You still have plenty of time. You're going to play through Zach Eady, and certainly, I think top of the key post entries are going to get him. He's got to get his man deep and able to do that. Eady out to set a screen. He's picking rolls. Nebraska's been really high with Braden Smith, taking away that, not, not playing drop coverage. The pull up hasn't been there. Eady with the dribble out to Smith. And now Smith through contact, kicks it to the corner, and that three from the corner is money from Mason Gillis. A nice pass there by Braden Smith. Disadvantaged basketball. Could have taken that tough pull up, but instead had Mason Gillis wide open in the corner. Tobinaga on the cut, and he was hit. Reshoots at 85%. For the Huskers. Now Smith kicks it back outside. Gillis over to Lawyer. Back to Smith. Pump fake gets him in the air. Lawyer wide open and Lawyer on the money. This game has been made for the three points. <laughs> we look at both these teams. Have made 13 threes each, 26 combined. Alec gives it up. Kobe Naga, tough three. You better believe it. That was good defense by Cam Heidi, but Casey Tominaga is on fire. A lawyer trying to reverse it. And he walked with it. Purdue is as good as any team in the country getting to the line. And only 11 of 15 from the foul line tonight. So they, they have drawn up a game plan that certainly has been the recipe so far to be up 10 with the, the under four beating the number one team in the country. Williams slips it through to Allen. Really a nice pass there from Williams. Crowd on their feet. Lawyer trying to drive. Lawyer through the contact, unable to get it to go on the board to Bryce Williams. Good rebound there by Bryce Williams. In traffic, Edie around, and Williams goes up and comes down with it. Toby Naga with it. Back to Bryce Williams. Halleck got the set of screen. Toby Naga. Comes to get it. Five on the shot clock. You know he's going to let it fly. And this time, well short. Air ball. Rebound is batted out of bounds. Drop it down low. Edie swatted away from behind. That was Bryce Williams coming over defensively. Got a hand on him. He made a heck of a play coming over. I really like the adjustment Nebraska has made with Braden Smith ball screens. That big being up has taken away his pull-up jumpers. 
And Nebraska just continuing to throw waves of defenders at Zach Eady. Williams keeping himself, trying to take it down low. Eady gives it up to Smith. Edie calling for it down low, won't get it. Trying to post up Mass, kick it to the corner. Smith calling for it. Now opposite corner, and that three is short. Rebound goes to Bryce Williams. Well, Nebraska just rotating and rotating and rotating and hanging in there. Purdue got an open shot, but that time just can't get it to go. But the effort that Nebraska's putting out on defense is some pretty high level stuff. It has been sensational from the opening tip. They have frustrated Edie. Sent a lot of bodies his direction. Now Mass goes right by him for the easy deuce. And this crowd can sense what is happening. Drops it to Edie, and Edie will slam it home. But their defense let him down, and tonight the game plan's been really, really good, and they have executed so well. The foul goes against Braden Smith. With a free throw shooter and Williams two for two. There's Jones. Jones trying to create some fast offense, but the defense of Nebraska is better. Mass rising over as he came over to help. He's come up with some big plays off the ball tonight. The balance on this play, the shooting. This is a really hostile place to play. And with the snowstorm, with the students not here, it's not what it normally is. And I think that this is one of the better venues in the league. But they brought it. With the clock winding down, three off the mark, four goes to Gary. You see a crowd beginning to form courtside. And Mass just dribble it out. And what a massive win for Nebraska in terms of the NCAA tournament. Right now they're a net of 58, and that's exactly what this team's goal is. And this win, now you've got to build on this, but this win is a massive win for the Nebraska resume.